This is Microsoft Solitaire Collection on Windows 10. I'd like to show you a program I wrote that can help you if you're stuck on Tripeaks or Pyramid Solitaire. But first, you need Java to use my program. One way to check if you have Java is to go open the Start menu, start typing Command Prompt, and press Enter. And once you get the Command Prompt, type Java. If a bunch of stuff gets printed out, then that's great, you have Java. But on the other hand, you might have a message that says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. If that happens, you need to install Java. One way to get it is to go to adoptopenjdk.net. On this website, you can click on OpenJDK 11, which is what I use and click on this blue button to download. Once you download the file, it'll appear in your downloads folder and double click on it to install it. Once you've got Java running, then you can install the program that I wrote. It's on GitHub and I'll include a link in the description. Over here it says 10 releases and if you click on that, it goes to the releases page where you can download the zip file that contains my program. So I'm going to download that and save it to my downloads folder. And when I go back, I'll extract all, right click extract all. Now there's a folder called solitaire player and inside that there's a folder called bin. What I like to do is go to the address bar, highlight that and type CMD to get a command prompt in the bin folder. And what you can do is type solitaire player dot bat and either tripeaks or pyramid depending on what game you have in Microsoft Solitaire Collection. So Make sure that you're at the beginning of a Tripeaks or Pyramid game where you can start clicking on the cards and playing the game rather than choosing which game you'd like to play. Once you run that, then the program will take control of the mouse. And what it wants to do right now is figure out what the face down cards are in the stockpile at the bottom. So it's going to click through and see what all the cards are in the deck. Unfortunately, there's 18 cards that are face down at the top of the window, and the only way to find out what those are is to actually start playing the game to turn them face up and figure out what they are. And this program knows how to do that. But after it scans through the cards at the bottom, it'll ver ask you to verify, and if there's anything wrong, you can correct any mistakes that you see by editing the text in this area and then click OK. Now it'll undo the board to start at the beginning and now it's going to try to figure out what are the face down cards up on the board. Even though one card is still face down, it knows the other 51 cards in the deck, so it can just use the process of elimination to figure out what that last card is. 
Now there's a dialog box that pops up and says, Solution, clear the board in 46 steps. And if you press no, the program will exit. But if you press yes, then it'll automatically play the game for you if you want. So it'll undo the board, start from the beginning of the game again, and this time clear the board. It'll know the fewest number of steps in order to clear the board and end the game. Almost all Tri-Peaks games can be cleared. And so it's finished. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this program helps you.